Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to another video and in this one I want to tackle a question that might be pretty obvious for some people but it also might be kind of weird for other people and the question is are daily quests fair? And I'm making this video because some people dislike the fact that Worlds of Draenor won't have any daily quests. Blizzard themselves said that they don't like daily quests anymore, there's too many of them, and they like the Timeless Isla style of content a lot more. Now, people are getting really bad because they think daily quests are fair and the Timeless Isle is not fair. And I want to start out by explaining to you daily quests. What are they? Why do we have daily quests? Can't we just have a nice quest line and a storyline that takes us through a dungeon maybe? Well, it's not that simple. And let's start from the very beginning. Daily quests originated from something called repeatable quests. Now, the most memorable, I suppose, repeatable quest was in Silithus. What you could do is basically turn in, and I think the item was called Twilight Encrypted Text for reputation. You would turn in 10 of them, it would give you some reputation. Now, you could do this quest as many times as you wanted in a day. So what you could do is either not care, maybe turn in this quest once a day and have the reputation after two months. Or you could be like me and if you have a free Sunday you would sit down, you would do 50 of those quests and you would have the reputation much faster. Sounds fair, doesn't it? Well, that's because it is fair. Repeatable quests are fair because it's not limiting me, someone who likes to sit down, do 50 quests then fall into coma and wake up the other day. It's not limiting Jimmy over there who likes to do only one quest and then have sex. <laughs> what a weirdo, right? So why did they turn them into daily quests in the Burning Crusade? Well, it was a very smart move from Blizzard and their evil plan, Twiddle Moustache, worked because people loved daily quests. They basically got the message that Blizzard was selling to people, but it's not true. Daily quests were never designed to satisfy players. They are there to gate content. And people were happy about them because everyone can be at the same level of progression. It doesn't matter if they're playing 5 hours a day or 20 minutes a day. They can still do the daily quests, log out and be happy. That's where Blizzard turned around, twirled moustache and said the plan worked. Because daily quests gate content, equipment and recipes. And what that means is Blizzard can release an expansion and gate certain content so it's not available at the start and people have to do daily quests to unlock it. Let's say we have a really cool trinket that people would like to get and we want to make it available 20 days after we release an expansion. We give players 5 daily quests and we will make a requirement of 100 completed daily quests and then you can buy this item. And here you go. You can't get the item sooner. You have to complete five daily quests every day and you need 100. So it takes you 20 days before you can buy the item. It's clever, isn't it? And people were happy about them. Yes, we have daily quests. They're awesome. They're not awesome. They're there to slow us down. So Blizzard has more time to develop content. That's why they are there. Not to be fun. No. They are there to slow us down. Now it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Why we have more daily quests every expansion. Because people are getting through the content faster and faster and faster. So Blizzard throws more daily quests at us to slow us down. And they're not fair. Of course they're not. They're fair to Jimmy, the sex haver. They're not fair to me, someone who likes to sit down, do 50 quests and basically grind reputation like a zombie. I like to do that. I chose to do that and I should be able to do that. That's how MMOs work. You grind, you get shinies. Plus the fact that it forces you to log in every day to feel like you're doing everything you can is absolutely horrific. That should never be in a game. You should not be outside thinking, I'm not gonna do daily quests today. Well, my item is one day further away. That's horrible, that's just, just no. No, no, no. 
So I'm all for the new timeless aisle way of gating content because that means that I can sit down and I can zombie through the reputation in one day unless they give us more chests of undeserved loot. In which case, bad blizzard. Bad. Newspaper to the face kind of bad. So it's fair to me, it's fair to Jimmy, everyone's happy. No one can complain and if they do, just tell them to fuck off.